Hello everyone, this is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today, it's a special treat. We've got an unboxing. And remember, before we get started, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you're alive. Let me know that you care. Show me some signs of life, will ya? All right, so um, I was waiting for this. I got the email that it was getting processed and um, I'm like, where is it? Where is it? So it finally landed on my doorstep today. So we are going to get some safety scissors out and do an unboxing. So how's everyone doing? I am actually looking forward to the Read What You Own challenge. Like I'm really looking forward to it. I think that this time around, I'm taking a different tactic and I think I'm gonna be more prepared, mentally prepared. I'm working out, you know, I'm working out and I'm training for this event. <laughs> because I am buying so many books. Like not just physical books, those Kindle deals are killing me. Like, okay, they're killing me for sure. But I mean, I can't resist a good book at a decent price, so. All right, okay, ready? Strand is uh, the oldest independent uh, bookstore in in the in the country, maybe since 1927. 18 miles of books. This is not sponsored. This is not affiliated. I just decided to wear my Strand collegiate shirt today, and um, I buy this box out of my own money because who doesn't want to support independent bookstores, right? Even if it's like a huge, well-known name like the Strand. I still have stuff to cut. A lot of tape. They do package their boxes nice. I will say the summer box, I don't even think I put that video up. I think I recorded it and I never put it up. I was disappointed with. Just didn't tickle my fancy and I said, you know what? I'm gonna give it one more chance. I'm gonna give this box one more chance and if it doesn't pan out, I'm gonna cancel and that's it. And I may just cancel after this one simply because of the Read What You Own challenge and um, it, Nightworms is where it's at for me. No offense to the strand, but Nightworms is my jam and I will die on that hill before I give up that box. <laughs> okay, so we have it open. Red paper, signature color of the strand. I did not expect this one. Okay. This is called Night Watch by Jane Ann Phillips. Hmm. Have you read Jane Ann Phillips? Is it good? This is not my kind of book. I'm going to give it a chance though. I'm going to give it a chance. Okay. From one of our most accomplished novelists, a mesmerizing story about a mother and daughter seeking refuge in the chaotic aftermath of the Civil War. I do enjoy the Civil War. I enjoy history about it. So, okay. All right. <clears throat> in the wake of the war, erasure, trauma, and namelessness haunt civilians and veterans, renegades and wanderers, freedmen and runaways. 12-year-old Kona Lee the adult in her family, for as long as she can remember, finds herself on a buckboard journey with her mother, Eliza, who hasn't spoken in more than a year. They arrive at the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum in West Virginia. I know where that's at. I've been there. Not personally. <laughs> I've driven by it. Uh, delivered to the hospital's entrance by a war veteran who has forced himself into their world they're far from family, a beloved neighbor, and the mountain home they knew. They tried to reclaim their lives. Okay, all right. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give this a chance because I'm familiar with that. I was thinking it was going to be a different war that I just have zero retained history about. But this actually sounds okay. It sounds okay. It sounds like I might get along with it. And it is signed by the author. So if you've read this book. Or if you know of this author, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to find out. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Ooh. 
This is, the Strand puts different things in their boxes. They put snacks, they put coffee, but they put neat stuff like this. This is a bees wrap. It's a single sandwich bees wrap. Wrap, rinse, reuse. So instead of using a plastic bag for your sandwiches, you could use beeswax, which is really cool. I wonder if you get the little button on it too. It's cute. A natural reusable alternative to plastic wrap. Made by hand with care. Organic cotton cloth, organic coconut oil, tree resin, and plant based wax contains soy cool interesting all right oh i got my snack but it got busted oh nobody likes a cracked cookie the snappy dresser a cookie with a crunch yeah it crunched all its way out of being a cookie Indulge in a cookie with some serious style and the perfect accessory to shorts, ball gowns, and everything in between. Make some noise. I want to make some noise. Hey, um, snappy dresser. It's all in pieces. Okay. MJ, mailing address in the description box below. <laughs> uh, contains wheat. Eight grams, 23 carbs, two protein. It's a cookie. Salt of the earth, salt of the earth bakery. Yeah, it's a little, um, I mean, it's all still in here, but it's crumble, cookie crumbles now. Ugh. Okay. What? Yeah, this is going to be the last. This is the last of the, of the strand. Um, they give you a little sample of chocolate. They give you a little sample. Ready? couldn't put two or three in here you just put one strand i love you but this is unacceptable i'm sorry all right and then oh wait i misspoke there's one in here <laughs> all right um this was 100 cacao and this is coconut milk unroast unroasted dark chocolate what's unroasted dark chocolate okay they gave me two. I'm still on the fence about the box strand, okay? Yeah. I mean, I think you could put, like, a bar in here, you know? Okay. And then the last book. New York Times book review. Notable book of 2021. So this is a little bit older. This is from El Gronquin. This is Liberté. And epic and intimate, says the New York Times. Lots of blurbs in here. Ooh, geez, lots of blurbs. Oh, my God. There's... <laughs> Remember how I talked about blurbs in a post? We've got one page, two page, three, four, five, six, six pages of blurbs. Do we need six pages of blurbs? I don't know. There's no blurbs. Oh, there's one blurb on the back. Mm -hmm. This was published in 2021. Number one indie next pick winner of New England Book Award for Fiction and the New England Independent Booksellers Award for Fiction. Coming of age in a free black community in Reconstruction era Brooklyn. Liberty Sampson is all too aware that her mother, a physician, has a vision for their future together. Liberty is to go to medical school and practice alongside her, but Liberty is hungry for something else. Is there really only one way to be independent? And she is constantly reminded of that. Unlike her light-skinned mother, she will not be able to pass for white. When a young man from Haiti proposes to Liberty and promises a better life on the island, she accepts only to discover that she is still subordinate to him and all men. As she tries to parse what freedom actually means for a black woman, Liberty struggles with where she might find it for herself and for generations to come. Inspired by one of the inspired by the life of one of the first black female doctors in the United States, critically acclaimed and Whiting Award winning Whiting uh, winning author Caitlin Greenridge returns with an unforgettable and immersive novel that will resonate with readers eager to understand our present through a deep moving and lyrical dive through our past. This sounds really, really good. Ah. <sighs> 
What was I going to say? Oh, this reminds me of a story. I'll just tell you really quick. So my grandmother on my mother's side, right? So um, they're from uh, Poland. They're from Eastern, uh, Eastern Poland, Krakow, something like that. And um, they lived in a small village. And he said to her, I'm going to go to America and I'm going to make it big and I'm going to send for you. And she said, okay, give me a boat ticket and, and I'll go with you. Okay. So a year passed or however many months and he did and he sent for her and she came and she got off the boat and she said, thank you very much for the ride. And she went off to make her own life. Yes. Yes. That's where I get it from. Mm -hmm. It's in my DNA people. Yeah. She was a trailblazer. So that her story reminds me of that story with being, you know, the guy from Haiti and all that. So not to digress, but overall strand, I'm going to give you a B. It's just not for me anymore. So, um, you know, I'm sorry that we're doing this at this venue and I'm sorry that, um, you know, you tried, uh, but you didn't try hard enough. You know, the snacks are broken. The chocolate is but a taste. And we just can't do this anymore, Strand. So I am leaving you. I'm sorry, but you just didn't do it for me. Bye, Strand. Keep in touch. Don't DM. All right, so I'm breaking up with the Strand. That's it. Dunzo. Okay. I gave you a chance. I've had you for a whole year. We're good. We're good. I put you through I put you through the ringer. I told you what I liked. I told you what I didn't like. You didn't improve. That's it. That's it. That's all that's all I gotta say. Okay? So au revoir, Strand. Hello, nightworms. Mm! Okay. More attention to the nightworms. So I don't feel bad about that. I will be canceling the subscription tomorrow. Um, like I said. Let me know if you've read either of these books. Let me know if you've had the crack cookie like that or if you tried that chocolate. I'd be interested to find out. But I honestly don't think it's worth the price of admission. Sorry. Um, okay, so I hope everyone is doing well. Make sure that you are taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. Break up with that thing if you need to. Say no. Take care of yourself. Put your harder money towards something that you truly love. All right, and I will see you in my next video, whether that be sooner or later. So until next time, everyone, goodbye for now. Happy reading.